morning. I'm here going for the Singapore Heritage Fest uh, media preview. So I'm currently at the National Museum of Singapore. Quite a lot of uh, interesting displays right outside. So Let the me Singapore Heritage Fest is happening from 1st May to 26th May. So there will be a range of activities ongoing during this period whereby you can take part in. Alright, so we will be giving you more information on our article as well. The festival will take place in the whole month of May. Uh, this year, the 1st to the 26th, uh, we have more than 80 partners uh, lining up really an amaz uh, amazing lineup of immersive and engaging programs with you. But besides that, we also have new partners on board this year. Uh, this year, we have Yules as an official uh, partner for the festival. Uh, and later on, uh, you, as you go through the exhibition, you will see and we will introduce to you also the launch of the special edition Orchid Chrysanthemum Tea. And this tea itself, the packaging is very special, uh, very close to our heart because it's very linked to our national collection. There's an image of the vendor, Ms. Joaquin uh, Orchid, from our national collection, uh, it has a partnership with us and yours to decorate the packaging of this special tree. Self-guided bus tour takes people uh, on tours of various precincts in Singapore on the first and the last weekend of the festival. First weekend is the cultural precincts like Chinatown, Kampung Glam, and Little India, which we work with the uh, Singapore Tourism Board uh, to bring uh, uh, to life these precincts. And the last precinct, last weekend of the festival, you will see the Hot One Hot One bus happen in this very precinct, the Brass Bus Up, Bookers Precinct, and the Civic District. So. so Cheryl uh, is behind the Creative Design Studio, Lulo Paper Studio, and her art paper practice focuses on handcrafted creative content for commercials, and illustrations, and installations. So both um, Ziggy from DP Architects or Cheryl will be sharing more about their involvement and the inspiration um, behind this year's installation. So Ziggy, let's start with you. Tell us more about the inspiration, the design, you know, modeling and these structures. How did we land on these five installations, five structures that we chose for this installation? So a very good hot morning to everyone here. Um, I think when we started, uh, we were all very excited to be invited to be one of the partners for the events. Uh, when we started, we started to look at our own collection of memories of what informed us through our years of growing up, our built heritage, our building forms, or the public spaces that we dwelled in. So that gave us a start of a vocabulary to start to enjoy and start to imagine how things would come through. So from there, we came up with um, these five installations as a whimsical interpretation of a new paper town that we hope that the public can enjoy. And together with Cheryl, uh, who created uh, chickens and roosters and little cats, uh, we hope to invite the public to join us, uh, to play around, to have fun in them, and also take opportunity to reminisce a little bit about the past. Yes, so hi everyone. I'm speaking to my yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm actually a paper artist, so if some of you are familiar with my works, I generally work with paper as my main medium. So I think for this particular Singapore Heritage Fest, uh, it was really a very wonderful opportunity for me to kind of step outside uh, my main medium of choice and to be able to design all these very whimsical and playful elements that are peppered all around uh the festival uh, buildings itself. So I hope that, you know, you can see, you know, all these uh, quintessential aspects of, you know, uh, what makes us uh, Singapore uh, as you're walking along the entire space itself. Uh, and I feel that, you know, for me personally, uh, I do en enjoy exploring uh, what's familiar to us and then kind of, you know, putting my own twist uh, to it, making it fun, making it playful, making it whimsical. We will be giving out a uh, special drink now uh, during uh, the whole run of the exhibition in May and June until the end of children's season, but also during the closing uh, party, closing weekend party of the Heritage Fest that will take place on the last weekend uh, of the party here on the uh, home ground over. The team uh, we were working with have so uh, generously kind of gone back to their archives 
to research and to even find, you know, the right signages and fonts from the 60s and 70s. Uh, so a lot of research has really gone to every single prop here. Uh, but yes, this is just also a very fun, uh, interactive playground uh, for families and children to make a Chiong Maru flat. Um, but we then added a slide on. Kids can as well go up and then slide down. Uh, in a way, I guess, a feather in our, our crown for all Singaporeans. The ultimate, I said, I guess, recognition of our Bill Heritage the, when we were accorded the UNESCO uh, World Heritage Site um, for Botanic, uh, Singapore Botanic Garden. Hi, I am Omar Fazil from Nabu Darga. Uh, Nabu Darga is an Indian Muslim Heritage Center. Uh, it's built in the 1800s by Indian Muslim from South India, also referred to as Julia Muslim. Hi everyone, my name is Dennis. I'm a volunteer over here at the Pinoc Cake. So I'm going to introduce to you what is the architecture about, what is the temple. So this is the Masu Temple, the Goddess of the Sea. Okay, so the interesting thing right, is that this architecture is how the building materials are all important from China. Uh, but there are also some materials that is like the iron cast uh, gate, right? The grill, right? It's actually from uh, Scotland, Mustard. And if you look at the architecture itself, the bottom is actually granite. Right? Okay. Because of the climate is or it's a bit uh, mid, if you use wooden architecture, it's going to be very difficult to maintain. So we use granite as the base, but you cannot use granite for the whole temple. So the top of the temple is still in the... So one of the fun things that if you see over here, right, there's a broken tooth over here. So people believe that if they rub the tooth, right, they can gain wealth and luck from the beast itself. There's actually five bats over here. This stands for Wu Hu Lingman in Chinese. It means the five blessings uh, coming to your uh, place itself. All right. Uh, welcome to ArtLab. So for today, I'll kind of introduce you guys to what is ArtLab, how we came about, and then I uh, will have a short um, tour of the place, not in the sense of like the history of the place and what um what we do so much, but in relation to the Singapore Heritage Fest, which is coming up. So we'll show you guys things uh, related to the workshop that will be happening. So one of the workshops that we have with the students is this is Kenyan. So it's those, um, actually these are made of porcelain holes. Two, two scanners, one is this hand hand one for more details. And we have a bigger one which can scan the entire street in five minutes. Welcome to the Capital Campaigns. It's a great pleasure to have you here. Very proud of owning four extremely nice and historical buildings in this civic district. This is the Capital, uh, the Stanford House. Capitol building, the theater, and the chimes. So when always I'm going for a sales course, they ask me why it's so special. I'm always saying because this is a very, very unique uh, property when you have four units together, four historical building with different story behind it. So I think it's fascinating to sell this, uh, this unit and this area. So this will be part of the heritage tour and you will get a lot of information about it. And you will taste and also you can take picture over there. Everything is really historical elements. So everything is local taste. So the afternoon tea has been introduced by Andreas and you guys are enjoying it. And we have a whole slew of waterfront of boat tours this year, taking people on Kelong tours, Kampong tours, Pulau Ubin. Uh, you can also see even like Club Key shop houses, the waterfront of Singapore River from the river itself. But for the uh, more adventurous in all of us, we have the dark Changi walking tours. Uh, these will explore abandoned buildings and spooky tales at Changi. Uh, I went on this myself, and I have to say, it's really fun, but go in a big group. Um, I think when you go in a big group, there's more energy. So, uh, you know, when you go in a smaller group, uh, it is uh, 
Yeah, you put yourself at risk, huh?